We have four defenders and one striker mm -hmm. in today's transfer rater for Alejandro Moreno to get it in two. And we're going to start with Matis De Ligt. Okay. This is a good one because it's Manchester City that he's been linked with now. It's, uh -huh. it's not Barcelona. Uh -huh. It's not Manchester United. Uh -huh. It's not PSG. Right. It's now Manchester City. Right. Well, he better be good. This he's, kid. He's fairly good. Well, well, he better be good with the one of these clubs because everybody wants Matis De Ligt. It would make sense from Manchester City's perspective because we have now determined that Pep Guardiola doesn't think much of John Stones. There's been plenty of opportunities to play in John Stones and he's essentially saying, you know what, thanks but no thanks. Vincent Company, he gone, leaves a huge hole right there in the center back position. He would be ideal, a guy that can actually play with the ball at his feet, young guy, up and coming, a lot of potential. Could he fulfill that potential in Manchester City? Why not? John Stones didn't, but maybe Matthias Delict does. I'm going to go with, sure, why not? There is a thought that Mino Raiola's involvement here uh -huh. has just muddied the waters as far as Pep Guardiola is concerned because they don't like each other. Okay. Is there ever any case where the manager won't sign a player just because the agent that is involved is not to his liking? I think so. I think so because when you're dealing with a player, you're not just dealing with a player. You're dealing with everything that goes around him. So if we go back to Jose Mourinho and his dislike for Paul Pogba, if it was not only a Paul Pogba, it was everything surrounding Paul Pogba that he didn't care much for. And he can create a disconnect between player and coach. However, I think the league is young enough to where Guardiola can get in his ear and say, you know what, how about you do it my way? You do it my way, you're going to do great things. Uh, this guy, Raiola, can take care of you off the field and he's going to provide you with all the other things that you need. But on the field, I can provide you with something that he can't. Listen to me. How about that? All right. Thomas Munier, who's got one year left at PSG, has now said, mm -hmm. amidst links with the Premier League, notably Manchester United, that he'd love to stay at PSG. So do you think they'll get that deal done? Well, he also said, I want to stay. If they want me, that'd be great. We'll be holding hands together. Okay, wonderful. But PSG has been very quiet about this, so maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe they don't want him nearly as much. They don't so, want to hold his hand? No, apparently nobody wants to hold his hand, at least not at PSG, because there's been plenty of opportunities for PSG to say, no, 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 look, this guy is part of our plans into the future. Mm, maybe not Ooh, so much. Oh, okay. So to stay at PSG is a mess. Dan Lovren, uh, they're talking about 25 million to AC Milan, who don't really seem to have a transfer strategy, but they need players. Uh, you know what, I don't understand if you're a Liverpool player at this point in your life why you would think that going somewhere else would be best for you. Dejan Lovren, he thinks of himself as, at times has said, the best centre defender in the world. Well, why don't you stay with one of the best clubs in the world? The reigning European champion, the team to be right now in terms of Europe. It's them or Manchester City at this point and so why would you go to AC Milan? Just, you know what? Just, just stay where you are. Stay where you are. Enjoy Liverpool. It's a good time to be a Liverpool player. It's not a bad time. Edin Dzeko to Inter Milan maybe is a very efficient version of Romelu Lukaku. Of course, now he's 33. Well, and this has been going on for a while. Because I remember we were doing this about a week, a week ago and it was apparently a done deal. Well, maybe not so much. Mm. Uh, Price difference is the yeah, problem, Yeah, right? well, yes, and, then, and players coming and going, and can we get to an agreement? Just get it done if you're going to get a gun. Stop wasting my time. All right. Harry Maguire, who is on Pep Guardiola's radar, mm -hmm. supposedly, as well as a number of other teams, mm -hmm. uh, to stay at Leicester City and learn under Brendan. It's now being talked about being £80 million. Well, Harry Maguire is not staying at Leicester. I want to tell you that much. It's to the point now to where the rumors and the talk and the conversation about him is that somebody's going to come in and say, well, it's time for him to take that step up. And if he is the player that people think he's going to be, this is the moment. All right, he's done what he's going to do at Leicester. Well, what else is he going to do at Leicester? It's time to move on to bigger and better things. Leicester's had their time. It's been wonderful. See you guys. Take care. Wonderful story. Bye-bye. I'm out. To stay at Leicester, that's a miss. Okay, so we've got Edin Dzeko moving from Roma to Inter Milan and we've got Matis De Ligt moving possibly to Manchester City or at least it makes sense as far as Ali's concerned.